Good afternoon, Trailblazer fans. Welcome once again inside the TV studio. I'm your host, Jeff Polari, on the verge of another MCLA women's soccer season, which opens up Saturday at Shoecraft Field against Riviere. The Trailblazers are coming off a three-win season a year ago and are looking to make some headway in the MAZCAC this season. After a few key gradu uh, graduation losses last year, MCLA welcomed in a very large freshman class, along with starting goalkeeper and all-conference selection Megan Richardson, as well as leading scorer Kaylin Holiday in 2017, hoping to improve on last year's finish. We caught up with a few of the Trailblazers, including senior Sakaya Johnson and sophomore Megan Richardson at preseason practice earlier this week. Let's take a look and see how preseason's going for the Trailblazers. Just tell us a little bit about how preseason's going to date. Um, preseason's going pretty well. Um, I'd say our energy's great at practice, morning runs, getting up, doing everything. Everything's been going really well today. A lot of new faces a lot of new places. What are some things we can expect to see from some newcomers come? Um, I would Saturday? say this upcoming Saturday it will all be a new experience for a lot of them because they have never played at the intensity of the collegiate level, but um, I'm expecting like all of their potential and their positive attitudes and great things from the team. MASCAC preseason poll didn't show MCLA a whole lot of respect. Do you guys use that as motivation moving forward heading into conference play? I would say definitely. Um, that was last year. This is a new team. This is a new, uh, it's a new day. Go forward and lift upon and keep going. So Meg, why don't you just talk to us a little bit about how preseason's going so far? Preseason's going really well. Uh, we're working really hard as a team to uh, just get our runs down, work on our shifting as a team for defense. Uh, everybody has great intensity at practice, so we have high hopes for the season. Looking ahead to the uh, season opener this Saturday, what does the team need to do to come out with a victory on opening day? So to come out with a victory, we just need to like focus on our runs up top. Like We've been working on really swinging our runs in across the front of the defense to get in behind. So if we do that, we'll come up with a win. And talk a little bit about yourself specifically. Last year you spearheaded the defense, a team that struggled to score some goals. You kept MCLA in a lot of games. What do you need to do this year uh, to pick up your performance and, and uh, hopefully lift the team some more? Yeah, so communication is key. I just need to work on like communicating clearly with my back line so we can stop shots before they even get to me. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Sakai and Meg. We wish you the best of luck in 2017. At this time, we'd like to welcome into the TV studio 18th year head coach for the MCLA women's soccer team, head coach Deb Raber. Coach, thanks for joining us here today. Of course, Jeff. Thanks for having us. So we heard from a few of the student athletes, but it's always different to hear from the coaches. And sure. how's preseason going from your vantage point? So far, so good. I'm, I'm really pleased with the work ethic that the women are putting in at this point, and I think it's just going to pay off later. They've been putting in the extra in the mornings, taking it amongst themselves to, to put in that little little extra step and I think it's going to pay off as we get going. Yeah. And we got Riviere home opener, season opener, Saturday 1 o'clock at Shoecraft Field. What do you expect to see in that matchup? I'm excited. I'm excited to get them back on the field and I know they're they're excited to put on that trailblazer uniform and get going as well. And I think I think what we're going to see is, is a lot more high energy from them this year and um, we're going to have a lot of freshmen who make a splash right away. So figuring all that stuff out in the first few games is going to be key for us. Yeah. And you mentioned the freshmen but uh, one of the things too this year, we, as we already said, we return mm -hmm. Megan Richardson, all-conference keeper. Mm -hmm. You return your leading scorer in Kaylin Holiday. Mm -hmm. Those are just two of the key pieces at return. Talk about some of the veterans that are going to be back to kind of lead this squad. Well, having having Sakai to anchor the center back is always important. Her leadership and ability to communicate is vital. Um, Hannah Sorensen probably also plays center back too, and she just really worked hard over the summer, and you can see it happening. Having Ali Davy back as well from her her duties with the National Guard, we now have her back, which is going to be great for our back line. Central midfield, I, I think Allie, having Allie Farrell back for her senior year is going to be great, and that will offer us a nice little holding spot there. And then having um, uh, Brittany Whitford at attacking center mid, she'll match up most likely with Caitlin um, Malo Maloney in the center midfield, and I'm excited for them. Um, Brittany's leadership in the central midfield will be vital for us. Mm -hmm. Another little bit of a scheduling out we open with five straight home games. Yep in 2017. I'm sure a little bit of that's by design, uh, a little bit of a, you know, kind of a one-off. But what do you yeah. expect to see out of those five games and hoping to see the Trailblazers progress and grow? I think it will 
what would be nice playing five games at home is, is there's a security in playing on your home field. So when we have the amount of new players that we do, it's going to allow them to have that adjustment period to be at home in their home surroundings, which is where we've been for the last two years, two weeks. So I think that's going to be helpful for them. Yeah. And again, as the schedule will get a little bit deeper, then you go four, I believe it's four straight on yes. the road. And then four out of your final seven will be back at home, which sets mm -hmm. up nicely. Uh, a couple of Mazcat games in there. So hopefully the home cooking will do you some well. Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> this team will look a little bit different in 2017. Yes. Natalie Caney, four-year starter, uh, no longer with us due to graduation. Who are some other players that might have to just step up their game a little bit to maybe help balance this mm -hmm. offense? We've struggled to put the ball in the net the mm -hmm. last two years. Well, we're gonna, welcoming in some new players up top are going to be key for us. Um, with Brooke Mangiarni and Miranda Wisman, both Berkshire County kids are going to make a splash for us up top right away. Aliyah San Giovanni has been training really hard, as has Lauren Mangiarni. And then um, Kate Mancini really worked hard over the summer, and it's showing when she's out on the field. And I, and I think that all, all of those players are going to make a difference in the scoring column for us. Yeah. And we always try to build towards MASCAC play. Sure. Uh, conference play opens up in just a few short weeks. Uh, not a whole lot of love in the MASCAC preseason poll, but as we know, those are uh, somewhat meaningless. What, uh, what does this team need to do between now and then to improve and take some steps forward in the conference? We've been focusing a lot on the attacking side of the ball, and we just really need to make sure that we're, we're honing that down and just keep working hard with it. Our two new assistant coaches have been doing a great job in raising the energy of our practices and giving them a new look, different ideas when it comes to our attacking style. So I think the, the, the add those guys in and it's made a difference for us as well. Great. Well, Coach, I wish you the best of luck on Saturday Thank against so Riviere and in the start of your season with five straight home games at Shoecraft Field. Trailblazer fans, for everything MCL Athletics, please log on to all of our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm your host, Jeff Polari. Have a great afternoon.